everyone welcome back to a new video and don't we just all love a new gel polish collection launch <laughs> today i've got the new uh collection from nelchemy there's eight colors in this collection i'm so excited about it so it's called the fairy garden collection and the colors are all oh my gosh they're so my colors so okay here we go right the first one is called orchid as you can see they're all in their usual black bottles and look at this color they're 15 mil bottles i love them so much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the first coat i've sped this bit up i'm going to do one coat and then i'll cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds then we're going with the second coat this is the second coat um, it has been cured. I'm just doing it. I'm just kind of speeding it up because this bit is sometimes the boring bit. And then on all of the swatches that I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to use the non-wipe top coat. So that is Orchid. Isn't that just beautiful? Now I am going to compare these to some of the colours they already have. And when I saw this one, it reminded me of Pink Grapefruit. So I'm going to hold it up to Pink Grapefruit. And you can see the swatches, the swatches I've got are old and they're a bit like look, scratched and stuff. <laughs> Pink grapefruit is more, it's got more of a red in it, I think, than orchid. Um, so the next one is foxglove. This is one of my favourites from, I could, actually, I'm going to, everyone, I'll be saying, this is actually one of my favourites. This is, I love all the colours in this collection. There is not one colour that I do not like. They are, look how creamy they are. Oh you know like and they're like oh i just want to eat it but you can't really uh so yeah this is foxglove and this is one of those it's kind of a, an in-between pinky purple color i really like it i didn't know whether to put it in with my purples it didn't look right so i put it with my pinks and it didn't quite look right you know it's one of those awkward ones i don't know where to put it in my with my swatch bobs but it's an absolutely stunning color I haven't had a chance. I did want to do a design today, but I had to do this video with my boys at home. And at the moment I'm using videos that I already have in my collection, in my, um, so, oh yeah, sweet peas. So I was like, it reminds me of sweet peas, but actually sweet peas is more purple. Look how much pinker foxglove is. So then I thought, right, let's have a look at azalea and cherry blossom. And I'm going to put it in between azalea and cherry blossom. And look, it's, totally different kind of pink so i can't really it's just a shade that they don't have at all which is good the next one is carnation this is the most beautiful subtle pink look how gorgeous that is <laughs> i love it by the way i'm in my car again i'm voice noting from my car because we've got family around and i sound i sound really rude but I just have to sit in my car and do this. Otherwise, I won't get a voiceover done today. <laughs> so this is the second coat. Nelkami's colours cure in an LED lamp, LED lamp for 30 seconds. Oh, I just love this colour so much. Again, one of my favourites, but then they are all my favourites. <laughs> so I put this one in between Azalea. No, I didn't. I put it next to Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom is a slightly darker pink. As you can see, there's not a lot in it, but Azalea... No, sorry, Cherry Blossom is definitely a little bit darker than Carnation. The next one is Violet... I love a purple. When I was watching Hayley and Dave's live last night, Hayley loves purple as well. So I was like, yeah, this is, this is. <laughs> Actually, I thought it was very much like Sweet Peas. Sweet Peas has been, sorry, I've got lots of gas. Sweet Peas has been one of my favorites from the start, but this one isn't. Look at, look, oh gosh. The coverage on these is really nice as well. So two coats, then our top coat. I didn't put quite enough top coat on this. I kept, you know, I kept trying to get those little dinky bits out. Okay, so there we go, that's violet. Oh, I absolutely love that. 
and then so yeah sweet peas is what i thought it initially looked like but if you hold them up together sweet peas is definitely more pink they would look lovely together in a set oh, i love those so much oh i'm gonna ombre them together oh yeah so what i was saying was i didn't get a chance to do an ombre yeah and rejuvenous the spellcaster collection over these would just be amazing oh so excited cornflower is the next one this is the blue Every collection needs a blue because Mr. Dave is a blue, is a massive blue person. He's not blue as in sad, he's a blue fan. The colour blue. Look at this blue though. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's one of the nicest shades of blue, I think. I thought it was more like a baby blue, but it's not really a baby blue. It's not as baby bluish as I thought. I'm going to compare this in a minute to Forget Me Not, which is a, it's a lot more of a pastel -y blue. I love this colour. Yeah, so I wanted to do a design, but I just didn't have a chance to get a design done as well. So I'm going to do this swatch video and then I'll do a design with these for next week. Oh yeah, so, right, I've, forget me not, this is the very pale blue. Then that is cornflower blue. So you can definitely see how cornflower blue is definitely a lot bluer. And then I thought I'd show you pawpaw. So pawpaw is, is a completely different blue but all very nice mm, love them this is oh god the noises i apologize for the noises i'm just so excited about these colors they are the most gorgeous colors for this time of year apple blossom look at this i was thinking oh my god that is wild sage which is another one of their colors that they previously released but it's not i'm going to show you in a minute this one with wild sage and oh, i just love this one there aren't many green fans out there, but I actually really like green. I don't think I use green a lot because a lot of people don't like it. So I kind of try and do things that other people will like. And But like at the end of the day, I've got to do what I enjoy as well, haven't I? So I should use green a little bit more, <laughs> she says. Look at that colour. So I'm going to hold it up with Wild Sage. Absolutely different colours, aren't they? Well, I mean, they're both like a green shade, but well, I love wild sage as well. Them, oh, I love them. And then I thought I'd show you honeydew melon. Honeydew melon has got way more of a blue in it. But yeah, um, this is, is this the last one? No, this isn't the last one. Honeysuckle. And actually out of the whole collection, this is probably my least favourite, but it is still a really nice shade of yellow. My favourite is lemon. My favourite is yellow that Nelkami released was, uh, last year was Lemon Sherbet. That was such a vibrant yellow. Definitely, definitely my favourite. Oh, but this one's really nice. I think this is, again, it just sits in so well with this collection. It's the perfect kind of shade of yellow for this time of year. And like Hayley said on her live, she could just imagine like bees over it or, you know, and it, yeah, she's absolutely right. It would just look, oh, so easter egg nails with all these colors would look amazing oh gosh so right here we go right so yeah this was toxic tonic this is one of their og colors definitely not the same as that and then there's one called daylily which it is very similar to but it is definitely a it's a definite it's definitely a different shade but they are very close in my opinion and then this is the last one this is tulip i actually really like this color i don't know if i'd wear it but i really like it it's a, a peachy color but it's like a corally it's like a muted corally orangey peach i don't know i'm really rubbish at describing stuff but we're gonna swatch it anyway <laughs> i love it oh by the way now can we now have a US distributor? So if you live in the US, you can now purchase these um, from a lady called Deb Schmidt, I think her name is. I will leave the link to her Facebook in the description box below so you can go and find her. I don't know that she's got this collection yet, but I'm sure she will have it in the near future. So if you want to purchase this and you live in the US, you can now do so from, oh yeah, no, 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 here we go, comparison. So anyway, all the information is gonna be in the description box below for you, so yeah. Um, Dahlia, I don't know if it's Dahlia or Dahlia, I don't know how you pronounce it, is on the left and I can't remember which one was on the right, but that wasn't even comparable. So we'll just ignore that. 
so this is them all together look easter colors absolutely i just bloody love these oh i can't wait to get on to easter nails and spring nails and i'm just gonna run the camera slowly along here so you can see but i haven't showed you them in matte so i have done some swatches on long stiletto tips here one on the left is matte on the right is shiny so you can see on these ones that i done here i did only do one coat of color as well so you can see how good the coverage is oh, they're just amazing i just love these so i'm going to leave the link to nailcomy's website in the description box below so you can buy these because you need them in your life i don't have a discount code but you know they are they're just you need them anyway so don't worry <laughs> thanks for watching guys and i will see you all tomorrow